Video review tutorial how to use video for beginners. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we use video as an online video editor for beginners. So it's pretty easy, just follow these steps, I do to not make any mistakes. So video provides us the opportunity to create easy video for our businesses, social media and so on so you can also create your videos for your own uh, they provide a lot of different features so let's get started simply we need to visit vvideo.com and then just click on sign up to create an account so here we have some opportunities we can continue with google with facebook or just create our own account I'll continue with Google because it's much much easier as for me. So we just choose one of our accounts here. And then we simply need to answer for some of the questions. What are you making videos for? Let's choose social media sharing. What can we help you to create? Of course, let it be like vlogs, social media, travel video. Basically, you can choose anything you need because the features are the same. So let's click on start creating and we'll come to their main page here. What do we have in the left side? We have our menu option like create new. We can create video, full featured editor or simplified editor. We can also record. We can add some GIFs or just edit like podcast. So we have also template page, home page, media and exports here. And in the top of the screen, in the right side, we have light, like upgrade option to like buy some paid plans, some help center notifications here, and also our account. So on the home page, we have like start blank video in area, like full featured editor or simplified editor. So we'll try to use full featured editor. Also, they have like their own templates, for example, social. Uh, simple social media template like influencer promo live stream basically we can view all the templates in templates area so as you can see there are a lot of them some of them are free for example and some of them are only for paid version as you can see included with any video paid plan so you can of course uh, use like free version or you can buy and use like paid uh, templates as you can see Almost all of them are paid. So we also have like different categories like YouTube outros, layout, social media, YouTube intro, seasonal, and so on. So we can just swipe to the right side, see like mementos, celebrations, education, and so on. On our media folder, we can import some media to deal with. Let's click and I'll just browse to select on our desktop here um, and simply just choose two of these videos so let's import them we can also uh, you know import using google drive and so on but simply we'll just upload it here as you can see we have like import progress it may take a little time because you know it's like cloud survive so it depends on your internet speed so let's click on create new, create new video and I'll choose full featured editor to open our editor here. So welcome to video, let's take a quick tour. No, thank you, because I just know everything. So in the left side, we have our folders like my uh, media videos with like their templates, images here with also like images templates, but as you can see, almost all of them are paid audio library with different audio effects, text option to add text, transitions, extras and backgrounds. They have like their own library, it's not that big, but we can simply use it. In the bottom of the screen we have uh, like our timeline here with different, with different, uh, you know, types of contact, text, video and audio, so it's pretty like helpful. Uh, in order to add something, we ne simply need to import to our media. We need to click on import, browse to select, and then just simply select one of our videos. Let's try to pick only one because 
uh, it may take a little time to upload so we can just simply click on import and with our social medias and records so when everything is done our media was successfully imported and we can drag and drop in on our timeline so simply we need to click and move it on our timeline to video stage so as you can see it, it looks like this now this is our player media what can we do uh, we can simply change the aspect ratio like from horizontal to vertical or to squared for example so it may look like this or like this so simply change the resolution it depends on platform we are creating video for so if we'll choose our video on our timeline we have some options here we can split change audio or opacity or edit we can also add some filters or just simply delete it as you can see so if we need to delete some parts we can just simply split uh, videos into two different areas yes and then just delete the unnecessary part so for example if we don't need this part here we can just simply click and click on delete so it was delete from our project but now we need to fit all the gaps so it won't be like this if you click on edit uh, we can see all the abilities we can do firstly we can transform we can scale we can fit we can fill we can change the position flip rotate change the capacity or just add fade also we can crop our image uh, the audio animation king color and so on we can change the uh, speed so there are a lot of features we can do with our like video so after that we just need to click on save changes and uh, all the changes were completely added to our project here we can also click on filters and try to use some filters for our video for example let it be like maybe this one we can click on like if we want to edit for every single clip we need to click on add all clips here there are a lot of different uh, effects so you can try to find the necessary one click on apply and after that we can see the difference between like two videos as you can see here and as you can see like here it was added to any, every single clip basically so um, this is a way of how can we deal with video the same um, way with audio in order to add text we just simply need to go to text area and just drag and drop our text so as you can see it looks like this we can click on it and click on edit so here we can input what do we need to write let will be like nature we can change the style to italic underline roboto and so on change the font change the position or add some animation we can like start position and position and so on so after that we simply need to apply our changes so just click on like enter or some other stuff so uh, basically if you'll like save and exit if you'll leave our project for example we can simply find it in like somewhere here we will go to home and find it in the recent area here so we can simply open it so in order to export we need to click on export in the right uh, top corner here so simply i don't know why but it was like missed as for me so let's try to reopen it and as you can see we have the option to finish in the right top corner we just need to click on finish add the name click on set and then just uh, choose the export settings like export video resolution and of course just click on export so after that it will be like edited and like downloaded to our pc so paid plans are better because you can export in the highest quality so if you're interested in working with a video i suggest you to use paid plans they're not like uh, they they don't cost too much but as you can see like five dollars a month eight 12 20 sorry and 36 so we can find the differences here at least like unlimited has like the highest resolution option so i suggest you to use like 
unlimited or professional. So this is all how can we deal with the video. Hope this video helped you out. If it is, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day and goodbye. If you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below.